Alright guys, welcome back. In the last video, we scrapped the book section of Amazon and we used something known as a user agent to bypass those restrictions. So what exactly is this user agent and how is it able to bypass the restrictions placed by Amazon? So whenever a browser like Chrome or Mozilla visits a website, that website asks for the identity of your browser and that identity of your browser is known as a user agent. And if we give the same identity to a website like Amazon, it places restrictions and sometimes bans the computer from visiting Amazon. So there are two main ways to trick Amazon using user agents. First is to use user agents that are allowed by Amazon. For example, Amazon has to allow Google to crawl its website if it wants its products to be shown on Google search. So we can basically replace our user agent with Google's user agent, which is known as Google bot and trick Amazon into thinking that actually Google is crawling the website and not us. And this is exactly what we did in the last video. We found out the Google's user agent name by typing it in, in Google search and then we replaced our user agent with Google. The other way is to keep rotating our user agents and if Amazon identifies our computer using our user agent then we can probably use fake user agents in rotation and trick Amazon into thinking that a lot of browsers are visiting the website instead of just just one and this is what we'll be learning in this video and doing that is really easy because of the various Python developers that have created cool libraries and packages for us and we're gonna install one of those libraries so we'll just go to go to settings click on this plus button and then we're gonna install a library known as scrappy dash user agents so we are going to be installing this second library and if you go to Google and just visit this link on the URL that is the pipi.org project scrappy user agents, you'll be able to read all about it. So if we scroll down, you can see the installation is pretty easy. If you're not using PyCharm, you can just pip install it. If you're using PyCharm, you can just go over here, click on install package and it will install it for you. I've already installed it on my computer, so I'm not going to install it again. So if we go in the description on how to install it, it says if you're using Scrappy greater than 1.0, you just need to copy and paste this three lines or four lines. So we're just gonna copy that and we're gonna go inside our settings.py file and we're gonna uncomment this, uh, we're gonna comment this line so that we don't use the Google bot and then we're gonna come down to where middlewares are there. So this is already commented out so we don't need to worry about it. And just below this, we are gonna paste our downloader middlewares. So this looks pretty good. We don't have any more instructions and you must be wondering how does it get a list of user agents to rotate through. So it has basically its own user agent file that we don't even need to include. It already has about 2200 user agents. So it basically has 2200 browser names and in rotation. So what we're going to do is we are just going to paste these steel two lines and then we're going to run our scrappy scroller again. So we're going to go to terminal and you'll be able to see that this time is crawled a little bit differently. So we are just going to run our crawler. Let's try scrappy crawl and Amazon press enter and you'll be able to see the output. So you're able to see that a lot of uh, warnings and other unsupported browser types are there and this is basically our user agent at work. It is basically trying out different user agents to see that Amazon does not uh, basically grab your user agent and use it for restricting purposes and as you can see we have already scrapped the data and if we scroll up a little bit you'll be able to see that we have used a user agent that is given over here and not our own user agent. So guys, this is pretty much it for this video. In the next video, we are going to learn about how to bypass restrictions using proxies. So there are two ways to bypass restrictions. One is user agents. The other is proxies, which are basically rotating IP addresses. And I'm going to go into what are IP addresses in the next video. So you don't need to worry about that. But you can use both of these methods, the user agent method and the proxy method together and combine them to create a hybrid method for bypassing those restrictions. And using them together is very easy. So I'm not going to go into that, but we are going to go into how to use proxy to bypass these restrictions, which is also pretty easy. We're just going to use a package. So anyways, uh, I'll see you in the next video. I'm really excited about it. Peace out.